Good day students! For this video, our topic will be all about logarithmic function. But before we discuss this topic, I hope that you were able to watch the video about exponential function because it will help you understand what is logarithmic function. Let's start. The word logarithmic came from the Greek words logos, which means ratio, and arithmos, which means number. This is how you will represent logarithmic function, logarithmic equation, and logarithmic inequality. Logarithmic function represented as f of x is equal to logarithm of x with base b, wherein f of x or y is the exponent and b is the base, and x is the argument or the answer. And logarithmic equation is represented as logarithm of x with base b is equal to z. And for logarithmic inequality, we are using the inequality sign such as greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So it only means that when we are talking about logarithmic function, it is the inverse of exponential function, wherein we can convert the logarithmic function to its exponential function. So here in the logarithmic form, logarithm of x with base b is equal to y exponential form will be b raised to y is equal to x where b is the base x is the argument and y is the exponent now let's try this example that will show that the exponential form is the inverse of the logarithm for example and its inverse is And if you're going to find the table of values of the given logarithmic function and exponential function, this will be now the graph. And it only proves that the exponential form is the inverse of the logarithm. You can also use scientific calculator to solve the logarithmic. Please get your scientific calculator, then follow the steps. The first given is logarithm of 25 with base 5 is equal to 2. If your calculator can input the base and the argument, input first the base, which is 5, next the argument, which is 25, then press equal, it will be equal to 2. Next example, logarithm 1000 is equal to 3. Here, just press log next input the argument which is 1000 press equal so our answer will be 3 if this is your calculator just press log then input the argument which is 25 then press division next log and then input the base, which is 5, and then press equal. So it must be equal to 2. Next, let's have the second example. Logarithm 1000 is equal to 3. Just press the following logarithm. Next, 1000, which is the argument. Then press equal. So it must be equal to 3. You can use your calculator for you to compute logarithmic equation, but it is also important for you to know how to solve for logarithmic equation. Let's start. Example number one. Logarithm of 8 with base 2 is equal to x. Convert the given logarithmic equation to its exponential form. So it is 2 raised to x is equal to 8. As you can see, the unknown value for this given example is the exponent. To find the missing value, find the factor of the right-hand side 8, then change it to its exponential form to make the basis the same. So it will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. And the exponential form is equal to 2 to the third power. Now that the bases are the same, we can now apply property of equality for exponential equation to get the value of x, which is 
equal to 3. Going back to our given logarithmic equation, logarithm of 8 with base 2 is equal to x, the value of x is equal to 3. To check if your answer is correct, simply substitute the value of the variable to the given equation. Then, change 8 to its exponential form. Now that we have 2 to the 3rd power is equal to 2 to the 3rd power, it only means that our answer is correct. Example number 2. Logarithm of 7, square root of 7, with base 7 is equal to x. The exponential form of the given logarithmic equation is 7 raised to x is equal to 7 square root of 7. Still, the missing value for this given example is the exponent. So, we need to make the basis the same by converting the right-hand side to its exponential form by applying law of exponents. For 7, it is understood that the exponent is 1 by applying 1 exponent power rule. For square root of 7, it will be 1 half by applying fractional exponents. Now, let's simplify. When we multiply powers with same base, simply add the exponents. So, it will be 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 over 2. Since the bases are the same, apply the property of equality for exponential equation. Then the value of x is equal to 3 over 2. Going back to our given logarithmic equation, logarithm of 7, square root of 7, with base 7 is equal to x, the value of x will be 3 over 2. To check, substitute the given value of x, which is 3 over 2, to the given logarithmic equation. Then, convert to its exponential form. Next, apply law of exponents to the right-hand side. Since 7 raised to 3 over 2 is equal to 7 raised to 3 over 2, it means that the answer is correct. Example number 3. Logarithm 0 0.1 is equal to x. For this given example, the equivalent exponential form is 10 raised to x is equal to 0 0.1. Always remember that if there is no subscript, the logarithm will be equal to 10. Here, the missing value is the exponent. Same process from the given examples 1 and 2. Before applying property of equality for exponential equation, we have to make the basis the same. To do that for this example, convert 0 0.1 to scientific notation. So it will be 10 raised to negative 1. Now that the bases are the same, apply property of equality for exponential equation. Then the value of x is equal to negative 1. Therefore, logarithm 0 0.1 is equal to negative 1. To check, Substitute the value of x to the given logarithmic equation. So we'll have logarithm 0 0.1 is equal to negative 1. Next, convert it to its exponential form. It will be 10 raised to negative 1 is equal to 0 0.1. Then change the right-hand side to its scientific notation. It will be 10 raised to negative 1. Since we have 10 raised to negative 1 is equal to 10 raised to negative 1, it means that our answer is correct. Number 4. Logarithm of 125 with base n is equal to 3. Its equivalent exponential form is n to the third power is equal to 125. Notice that the missing value here is the base of the left-hand side. From our previous given examples, we make the bases the same since the unknown value is the exponents. But for this given example, we need to make the exponents the same. To do that, factor 125. So it will be 5 cubed. Now that the exponents are the same, equate the bases 
it means that the value of n is equal to 5. Therefore, logarithm of 125 with base 5 is equal to 3. Let's check. Apply substitution. So, we will have logarithm of 125 with base 5 is equal to 3. Then, convert it to its equivalent exponential form. We will have 5 cube is equal to 125. Then, factor 125, it will be 5 cube. Since 5 cube is equal to 5 cube, it means that the answer is correct. Number 5. Logarithm of 81 with base 3 is equal to 2n plus 1. Converted to its equivalent exponential form, it will be 3 raised to 2n plus 1 is equal to 81. Next is, we have to find the factor of 81. It will be 3 raised to 4. Since the bases are the same, we will apply property of equality for exponential equation. So, it will be 2n plus 1 is equal to 4. Next is solve for n. We will apply addition property of equality. It will be 2n is equal to 3. Next is apply multiplication property of equality. So, we'll have 1 half times the quantity of 2n is equal to 3 times 1 half. Simplify this, it will be n is equal to 3 over 2. Now, let's substitute the given value of n to our given logarithmic equation. So, we have logarithm of 81 with base 3 is equal to 2 times 3 over 2 plus 1. Now, let's simplify. It will be 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Therefore, Logarithm of 81 with base 3 is equal to 4. We can use logarithm of 81 with base 3 is equal to 4 to check if the answer is correct. Since 3 to the 4th power is equal to 3 to the 4th power, it means that the answer is correct. Last example number 6. Logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 4 is equal to 12 over n. The equivalent exponential form of the given logarithmic equation is 4 raised to 12 over n is equal to 1 over 16. Next is, we will apply law of negative exponent on the right-hand side, 1 over 16, it will be 16 raised to negative 1. Remember that we have to make the basis the same. So we have to find the factor of 16, it will be 4 squared. Simplify the exponents 2 times negative 1, it will be 4 raised to negative 2. Since the bases are the same, we will apply property of equality for exponential equation. So we'll have 12 over n is equal to negative 2. Next is, since we are going to solve for n, we have to apply multiplication property of equality. So, we will multiply n, both sides of the equation. It's still, we have to use multiplication property of equality. Going to simplify this, it will be negative 6 is equal to n. Or simply write n is equal to negative 6 by applying symmetric property. Now, going back to our given logarithmic equation, logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 4 is equal to 12 over n. And we know that the value of n is equal to negative 6. So we have 12 over negative 6. Simplify this, we will have negative 2. Therefore, logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 4 is equal to negative 2. We can use logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 4 is equal to negative 2 to check if the answer is correct. Since 4 raised to negative 2 is equal to 4 raised to negative 2, it means that the answer is correct.